hello everyone so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can show the keystroke on your display basically when you do some presentation and make any tutorials on your laptop or your pc you might want to show what key you press on the keyboard your viewers may see this one like if i press any shortcut light you can see if i press ctrl c it will show in the bottom left corner on my screen if i press any other shortcut or any key that will directly show on my screen so you do not need to edit it after your recording video or any other things so in this video i will show you how you can do this very easily and completely free it will not charge any single amount of pennies in from your pocket so don't let present check out to this video So in this video i gonna show how you can make the keystroke display on your screen here i can see i just show my keystroke here so this is basically a simple software and i have added all the link in the description the name of the software is cornac so you can just uh, get this zip file from the download link so just open it and after opening this you just need to double click on the cornac.exe file because this is the installer so when you open this install this one it will automatically open a software inside your tax panel you can see here there is the software so to do some modification you need to click here i first i show you how my keystrokes are showing so you can see that all my keystrokes are showing now and what i press it will show here so we can if you want to change the position of this you can do that or change the font so now i will show you how you can change the font and do the positioning to change the positioning you just need to select the connect software from the tax bar on the right corner below and then click on this you will get this setting so there are few settings that appearance and general so in general setting you will get the positioning option of the display here you can see if i click the text will be on the below of the left screen but if you want to change the position you can just select the position from here and do adjustment from here so if i now save this one and if i press you can see that will be on the right corner top so if i want to move this one so i just you can see when i move this bar you can see that this is changing its place and if i set the right offset and then press save and you can see my text are in the middle so if you want to set it at the middle of the screen so you can just move this like this so i think you understand how to do this one you can set it on your own necessary where you want to show this one and you can also do some more modification i will sh show you how to do this so now go to the appearance tab here you can do other other things like changing the opacity so you can see my opacity of this text background is about 0.5 i mean 50 percent so if i give this full then you can see that my opacity of the text is go to the full and 100 percent so there is no transparency in the text so i recommend you to put this on the five because we can see the inside object through the text and another thing you can also change the font color from here like if i give the red now just press save and you can say, see that the font color has been changed to red and if you want to change the background color you can also do this one like i said the green one now if i press you can see the green background and opacity from here as I, as i show and you can also change other things like the shortcuts only function so if you select the shortcut only function so i just press save then what happened yeah, if i press any text that will show but if i press any ctrl c or ctrl b I'm, I'm right now pressing the ctrl c or ctrl b from keyboard but it's not working because there is not such a shortcut in the desktop if if we want if you want to use the photoshop or any other things then you can just press the shortcut then it will display nothing happen when you display randomly so this is only for tutorial making so i just deselect this one and next you can also show the application icon inside the box so if i if i click on the show application icon and then press save and then if i press ctrl c then you can see that it's showing the on and if i if i select the folder and press ctrl c you can see that the folder icon is showing on the box so this is how you can change all the setting as you need and if you mess around with the software setting then you can just select the reset to defaults when you click on the reset to defaults it will automatically reset all the setting and you can just simply change the 
font color and font background from here so i just select the white from here white and the background color is as black because i like this default setting so and then i just click save and from here i just go to general and then move to the left below corner and set some left offset and the bottom offset and press save so now we can see that all is working fine so i hope you guys understand how to set this one in your own pc very easily and very quickly so if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section and if you like the video please hit the like button and see you on the next video today stay happy stay blessed